Has got a vice-like grip of Gatting at the 550. He's got him under a choker hole back to the field. Gatting three quarters. Dusty Storm down on the inside. Heron Point third and absolutely jog trotting. Pickup line is going up to be put into the fray three deep around Super Fine. I reckon Chinstrap might need a bit of luck. Coming around the home bend now and Gatting opening up for Pike. He tried to steal a length here on Dusty Storm, but he sticks on well. Dusty Storm coming at Gatting. Pike forced to go to work. Two lengths behind them. Pickup line. Heron Point and Chinstrap still trying to get clear now he's into the open but the bird flew and Gatting had booted away from them it's Gatting home terrific front running ride by Pike he outsmarted them there and he won from either chin strap or dusty storm pick up line in the middle super fine deeper out and Heron Point is back last of the six home well he clean bowled them that's what he did do Pike he led he just walked them up in front They've just gone around in uh, 10770 for 1100. 10770. And getting, he just uh, took off at the top of the home straight. Dusty Storm tried to stick, but it was the last little bit that was the most impressive. He lengthened and he had booted away. Dusty Storm might have got the bob in for second in front of Chin Strap, who you always knew was in a world of pain coming to the corner of the favourite. The way the race was run, he was coiled up in on the fence, had to work to the outside, get into the clear. But uh, Pike had set sail for the judge, and that was the last they saw of him over the last 150. Uh, sectional to be confirmed, but it looks as though it's a 36.57 sectional time. 4, 1, 2 and 9, the placings. Pickup line finished up there in fourth placing. Two and three quarters, a long head, a long head of the margins. And Gatting, cleverly named, is by Hard Spun. Of course, uh, Mike Gatting became the first ever victim of Shane Warne when he bowled that magnificent leg break. Bowled him around his legs and uh, hence the name of Gatting of uh, the winner of race number three. Gatting is out of the Lonroe Mare in Stubborn, a double today for Darren McAuliffe and the first on the board for W. Pike. Dusty Storm second in by Oratorio from Queen of Storms, Aaron Mitchell for the Paul Jordan Yard and Chinstrap in third placing number two by Helmet from Pilbara Sand, Sean Casey and Jake Casey. 3.30, Gatting, uh, really lengthening late in the race. 4.60 for Dusty Storm, no third for Chinstrap. The sectional amended 35.39. Race four, Railway Stakes Day this Saturday. Handicap at 2.32. Six Bush Track comes out of the next event on the card as we take you down now to uh, Adam McGrath, who this time has got a much bigger ticker than when he last spoke with Darren McAuliffe. Certainly is the case here, but Darren, I don't know whether to give you credit here at the moment of the jockeys because, again, that was just a brilliant ride by William Pike. Slowed him up, skipped away the top of the straight, put two lengths on him, and from there it was done. Yeah, time indicates that, doesn't it? Um, yeah, he got it on his own way. I was sort of worried he had such a vice-like grip. I could see his sort of mouth ajar, and I thought, oh, I hope he doesn't suck that tongue back and choke down. But, uh, look, he accelerated nice in the straight and run through the line like a nice horse. But, you know, uh, time's a bit slow, so we won't go getting too carried away. Tell us about this galloper. I believe you've had a couple of issues just getting to the track. Just anything that could go wrong does go wrong? Yeah, I mean, just this prep alone, he, he fractured his skull in a accident on the way to trials so uh you know he's been far from uh, easy to train he's uh, his ability is unquestionable but he's a he's he's a very difficult and very hard horse to uh keep control of and um uh it's just great reward for the the owners have been very patient and left me alone let me do my job and um you know he's rewarding them now while a few trainers might have been a little bit worried about this rain and a bit upset, it just seems to work perfectly for you today. We saw it in the previous. I think this is another galloper that will appreciate that. By decree and faux shizzle will also appreciate some of the sting out of the ground. Yeah, certainly. No, none more so than faux shizzle in the last. I mean, she's in really good form. She drops in grade. Um, she's in the right weight class, right distance, and uh, drawn a gate. Uh, if we have any more rain... Um, oh, there we go. I rest my case, Your Honour. Um, yeah. Quirky bugger, isn't he? <laughs> oh, yeah, he's different. But, um, yeah, it looks faux she's, uh, she's probably the... Oh, I thought she was probably the best chance we had when I saw all the rain this morning. So uh, we'll see how she goes. Now, you questioned my heart at the previous interview. I'm going to question the naming because there's no way you came up with this uh, name. Very intelligent, Gatting uh, by Hard Spun. Who came up with it? 
I don't know, I've only got an IQ of 147. I don't know what yours is, but uh, I don't think it's that close. Well done, mate. Congratulations on the win. There's Darren McAuliffe going back to back here with a win to Gadding. We'll grab it. William Pike as he does weigh in. And Pikey, like we saw in the previous race there by Jordan Turner, just able to stack him up and skip away. Yeah, I learned something off the apprentice there. Welcome back as well, it must be said. Hungry being back here? <laughs> I'm always a bit hungry, but uh, no, it's good to be back. Uh, it was a bit painful sitting on the couch the other day watching the races, so this is where I belong. Tell us about this runner, as Darren mentioned there, a bit painful, quirky, hard to get the track as well. Uh, did you like what you felt out there, the way he was able to run through the line? I was very impressed with the way he let down today. Um, in his maiden win, it was a very workmanlike win, whereas today there was actually a, a real good hold up and a turn of foot. Yeah, I thought his improvement from one round to the next was good. Always good to see you back, mate. It doesn't take long for a winner. Congratulations. Thank you. There's William Pint winning jockey aboard of Gatting, making it back-to-back -back victories for the impressive racing at Stable as Gatting takes out race number three, the C Corp Handicap over the 1,100 metres.